Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope everyone is doing well today. Hello, 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 honey. Happy winter wonderland. Happy white boy winter. Who's white boy wintering here? Good morning, honey. Cuckoo. Ça va? Yes? Honey, I said... I needed to stay warm in this very cold world. Shh. <laughs> Honey, white boy winter. Who's here? Who's not? Where are they, girl? Where are they, honey? What's really going on, honey? What's the tea, honey? What is it? Honey, I had to get this coat, honey. Yes, ma'am. What else is the tea, girl? What else is the tea? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I am in Montreal. Oh, wait, who is Cortez? Yes, girl. Honey. It is, I'm in Montreal, Canada, and it is cold outside. Yes. <laughs> I know, girl, I came out here, I said, let me, let me put this on and gag the girls. Gag them, honey. Gag them. Let me see what the girls are talking about this lovely winter morning. Yeah. Hello, Rena. Hello, Steph. Hello, Allie. Good morning. Salon Nina. Coucou. Ça va? Crystal, hey girl, hey Noni, hey Elise. Oh my gosh, blue avocado from South Africa, honey. Is it cold over there? Like it's cold over here? I think not. You should be wearing your fur anywhere, honey. Anyway, Tanel, so you're so cute in your coat. I know that's right, but you should not be flirting with me. My husband will get you. Ash Nicole said, okay, fur baby. Yes, ma'am, honey, I'm cold, chilly. Hey, Chrissy girl. Noni said, I want to white boy winter. Do it, girl. They're everywhere. Talk to them now. Bree said she wants pasta and lobster. I know that's right. Chrissy said, the fur is giving me life. As it should. It's literally giving me life too, girl. Without it, I would die. It's so cold here. And I said, you look fab. I love it. Thank you, girl. You know, the gag is that sometimes when I was in California, I would wear a fur coat in California, girl. I'm just messy. Just needing attention for no reason, honey. Oh, yeah, and said, not the fur now. Girl, yes. Jamira said, white boy winter me. I need to be in the slopes, honey. Yes, girl. Bailey said, white guy has a crush on me, but he's so shy advice. You walk over to him and you start a conversation. And if he continues that conversation for more than three minutes, he does like you. And you give him your number. Once he, once you give him the number, girl, he's off to the races. That's all he needs, girl. It's like, you know when you were, like, younger and you had, like, kind of a shitty car that sometimes worked and sometimes didn't and you had to give, him a, give it a jump sometimes? You have to give some of these white boys a jump, honey. Like a hoopty. These white boys are hoopties, girl. Tano said, I took your advice and deleted my apps till the January. I know that's right. I know that's right. Chrissy said, I cannot with you. I wasn't ready. No one's ready. Not even myself. <laughs> Katrina, thank you so much for the rose girl. Ali said, where are you from? I'm from California. I'm from the Valley. Can't you hear my white girl, Valley accent girl? Tiffany said, it's crazy to see you in that when it's 71 degrees in Houston. Girl, I'm sure it's not 71 degrees in the nighttime, girl. Lisa, love the coat. Thank you, honey. Cortez said, okay, Blair. Yes, girl. Oyen said, I bet it's so soft. And is. And is. And is. No, here's the gag, girl. The gag is that yesterday was like a really tough day for me. And anytime you have a really tough day where it's like you don't want to do anything because everything is going wrong, you just want to go to bed. So I went to bed. And then today I just, for me, I was like, um, no, I'm, I'm compensating for yesterday and I'm living 150%. So that's what you're getting today. Yeah. 
Um, Sydney said, how can you tell if he's a nice guy and you need to give it time versus you're not interested? So what's the issue here? If within two to three weeks, your feelings are not growing and you want to like rate them on a scale from zero to 10 right now, right? So if you're like, mm, he's kind of like a six and a half. If that isn't growing every two weeks, he's got to go. Jenna said, Anwar, tips for my white boy to meet my friends for the first time, girl. Um, what do you mean tips? Girl, he's on his own, girl. He's on his own. We have to see if he swings, uh, you know, swims or sinks, honey. You know how sometimes some of these um, white parents or Asian parents will just throw their kids in the water, girl, and hope that they learn how to swim? You got to do it with this white boy, too. He's used to it. His parents did it to him when he was six months old, girl. He knows how to handle it. Ali said, I just met a white man, sweetie. He approached me at work. Love that for you, girl. Love that for you. Okay, so I came on here and the girls were already gagged. So let me introduce myself for the girls that don't really know me. My name is Anwar White. Everyone calls me Coach Anwar. I am a dating coach for black and brown women that want to get their guy, honey, and do the work and heal. And I come on here because I want to answer your questions about love and dating and relationships and men or women or anything in between, girl. I'm catching up just like the rest of us. Um, and so put your questions in the comments. I will answer them in the order that I see them and read them. And we will go from there. Yeah. yeah. Crystal said gag city. Yes, ma'am. Jamira said gag them, honey. Honey, I got to do something. Maroon said, the tea is replaced with water, electric light water, to be specific. I know that's right, honey. For the more athletic girls, it's not tea, girl. I'm giving them Gatorade. But for the, you know, the prissy girls, the uptight girls, I give them the tea. Tindy said, the fur is giving me life, honey. As it should. As it should. The backup said, honey, we are beyond gagged. I know that's right. Shanna said, I'm a teacher and I gave my white boy COVID. Oop! He's still trying to take care of me, though. As he should. As he should. When he's serving you that soup in bed, girl, tell him to cough in the other direction. <laughs> yes, honey. This is what it's all about, honey. FR said it's giving Diana Ross mahogany. Yes, honey. Good morning, Scarlett. Kendra said, OMG, and why I tested the thumb test you were talking about and you wasn't playing. I never am. Not with the girls. Not with my sisters. I never play with you. I really don't give you the bullshit. Now, these men I will play with. Because they are dolls. I think of men like action figures, girl, that I used to play with. I used to have, like, tons of WWF, WWE action figures. And I just used to wrestle with them. And that's what I want you to do with these boys. I want you to understand that these men are not... They are as serious as you make them. Like, these men are really boys. And I'm saying this not to really denigrate them, per se, but really empower you to really step into your power. You, as a woman, have so much power in your dating game, and you don't even know it yet, girl. Um, you know, the power of the punani is huge. Girl, if I had the power of the punani, girl, I would be the Queen of England. I would be, I would take Meghan Merkel's role as Princess of Sussex or whatever her title is, honey ruling honey just ruling the world and i want you to do the same tendy said it's freezing in england i stay with my first two i know that's right girl if you don't got a man girl put on a fur <laughs> and this winter honey gotta keep something warm up in here Kay said are you married yes ma'am i'm married with children honey it's like the tv show married with three children that's why i'm waiting for my child to get out of gymnastics yeah. By the way, if you are, if you have someone who is giving dating advice online and they're not married, please don't listen to them. And I will leave it at that. Nas said, Anwar, I love you so much. You've changed my perspective on dating. Good girl. I'm so happy to hear about it. Uh, Freaksy said, hi, love. Do you have any first date questions, recommendations? Okay. So here's the tea. I don't really, like, coach on that because I feel like if you have, like, already stated questions, girl, then it's an interview. It's not a freaking date, right? So the thing that I say is, girl, 
talk to these men the same way that you would talk to your family and friends. So whatever you talk to your best friend about that week, you want to talk to these men about and see if they can roll with it in the same way that you're rolling with your friends. So girl, if you talked about Housewives of Potomac, talk about Housewives of Potomac. If you're talking about, you know, the last conversation or speech that Biden gave, talk about that and see if they roll or not. Girl, the last thing that I want you to do is give these lame ass questions about how many brothers do you have? Where did you grow up? Girl, that's boring. That's lame. Don't do that. Yeah, that's what, that's why dating can become really boring. Yeah. Jazzy said, okay, Anwar, looking good and feeling yourself. Girl, I have to. And you know what the gag is, girl? No shade. I did. I haven't even washed my face yet. But girl, I, ha- I had to put on this jacket, girl, because that's, that was what I was feeling right now. Yeah. Flower said, love your energy. Thank you, honey. Thank you, girl. Jazzy said, I have a 60-year-old pasta and lobster. Oh, girl, that sounds like penne pasta to me. Girl, that sounds like some Alfredo penne pasta, honey. EJ said, you are the best dating coach. You know what you're talking about. I'd like to think so. I've been doing it for 13 years. Love. Val the bombshell said, went on a date with a Jewish man last night and it went well. I know that's right. Laheim, honey. Laheim. Drama star said, you are awesome. Thank you, girl. Teddy said, love the co. Hey, Anwar. Hey, Teddy girl. Flo said, why are guys not initiating the planning when it comes to dating? Because a lot of guys are don't want to do it because they're lazy. And a lot of these men, I think you need to understand that a lot of men, especially if they're, they're doing something with their lives, they have a lot of women chasing them. So if a guy is an eight or a nine or a 10, which is what we're focused on, you have to understand that they have women that are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, chasing them. So they don't have to because they have a lot of women that are going to do it for them. But I don't want you to be one of those girls. That's why I give you the the recommendations and the coaching that I that I do. Yeah, and thank you all so much for the 13,000 likes. If there's anything that's resonating with you, is if there's anything that you're living for, tap, double tap, triple tap the screen, honey, because we're going to be giving you dating advice and coaching, you know, straight no chaser. Okay? Ari said, Anwar, please. Please what? Please what? Uh, I saw emoji says, they got the package to people were lying. White men don't got it. What? They got the package to people were li- Girl. Girl. Silver said, do you recommend any dating coaches for gay guys? Um, there's a guy called the Gay Dating Coach. I think he's pretty good, but I don't really know a lot of what he does, but I've seen some reels. He seems to know what he's talking about. Madison said, never even kissed a pasta and lobster. You put it on my bucket list. Girl, it should not be on your bucket list, girl. It should be on your fuck it list. Hello? Hello? Y'all not hearing me. Y'all are not hearing me. I don't think you're hearing me. Crazy said, it's giving Aaliyah. I can't remember which video, though. I know that's right, girl. Rest in peace, girl. Rest in peace. Nyla said, I know that's right. Mm-hmm. Lady said, thanks to you, I've walked away from a police officer and I feel free. Girl, you are literally free because the police officer arrested you, girl. Either mentally, emotionally, spiritually, or intellectually, girl. You are literally free, girl. And I'm so happy for you. What are you going to do with your newfound freedom? You're going to have a meal at McDonald's? What do, what do the guys do when they get out of prison first, honey? I don't know. Kina Cotton said, I love thee. I take your words to heart. Thank you, girl. Akiliak said, I, I moved to Florida. I missed my furs. Here's the thing. When you're in Florida, anything less than 60 degrees is cold. Oh, girl, don't, don't give me that hat. Not with this fur. Mm-mm. Don't give me that. Don't give me that, that, that hat, girl. It doesn't go with this. Thank you for the hat, girl, but not today. Girl, give me the hat when I'm wearing a t-shirt. Not this fur. Girl, I have a hat. I have a hat, honey. I have a hat. Yeah? Uh, Juke Boxbury said, thank you for doing videos for folks living in bigger bodies. I know that's right. Anytime, Aaliyah said, good morning. Is a guy having a lot of female friends a red flag? 
Um, so I think a guy that doesn't have any friends gives me, um, that is something that it gives me pause. I don't really talk in red flags or green flags so much because the way that I think about dating is when you're focused on flags, you're thinking about the external and I want you to always be checking in with yourself, right? Because someone's red flag and based on how they feel might be another person's not red flag. Here's the thing. I like the fact that he has female friends. I need to understand how he interacts with them. So that's what an observation that you need to be in. If he's like a really nice guy and, and women actually feel safe with him, that's one thing. If he is a dirty dog, that's another thing. But you will see that when you observe it. And they say Elmer is too funny. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Then he said, what app should we use for 2024? 30s in New York. Bumble girl. And uh, OK Cupid or, or maybe even Hinge. Honey Maroon says she, she doesn't have any pasta or lobster girl. She just has water and air. Oop. Kaylin said Tinder and Hinge are gone. Sure are, girl. Gone like the wind. Gone like the wind. Fabulous, honey. Tania or Tanya said I love the coat. You look so cozy. Sure am, girl. Cozy like Beyonce, honey. Jazzy said, is Bumble the best? Right now it is, girl. Girl, they're trying to disconnect us, honey. Girl, they're trying to disconnect us, honey.